hope you don't mind being recorded. Nice. This is John. <laughs> so I first met John um, actually through this YouTube channel, didn't I? Yeah, we went out kayaking. So another one of the good friends that I've met through the channel. Um, North Haven today. Not my usual West Beach, so we're going to head out. Got a couple of marks that uh, John's provided. Um, what's the game plan? Crabs. Go fishing. Go fishing. Just be out on the water. It's a nice day. I purposely took the day off work. I decided yesterday because there's a, a little short window. Because as you know, the weather's been pretty bad. So I'm um, really happy to come out. Fish or no fish, I'm happy to come out. Blue sky, hardly any wind. Let's hope it stays like that. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, you ready yeah. to go? Absolutely. All right, let's excellent. Go. Let's go. From uh, Outer Harbour, I'm going to put on one of the uh, Vexed again. Got the burly pot out. Now, question: cockle or squid first? Cockle. Put a bit of cockle out first. Definitely. I've got a heap more bait than that as well. That's good. We might right. need it. You go first, drop. So I'm going to use a circle hook on that one, and then our other one I'll put a Paternoster rig on. So the circle hook I'm just going to leave in the rod holder because technically they're supposed to hook themselves, aren't they? <laughs> With a circle hook. So they rig. Showing up uh, some marks on the sounder. So first one out. Let's see how we go. What are you using, pattern Oscar rig? Yes. It's about circle. 11 meters. Leave that one there and set up my other rod. See how we go. It's got to put a heavier sinker on. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. it's a little bit fishing. of a washing machine, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, and I reckon we might have target species. Nice. Can you run it your hand? An excuse to check out my new my new net. <laughs> Oh yeah, this target space is nice. Nice. Nice on the vexed. Vexed takes, takes first blood. Oh, what's going on here? The tides. And uh, again, check out with these cir circle hooks. Just, I mean, yeah, that wasn't going anywhere. What's going on here? It's going all over the place. Are we, are we moving? And here's 35. Are we drifting? Drifting. I don't know. Because I'm mine. Down there? Yeah, it's going that way. Oh, I've just, I can try and reset the anchor again. I think we're drifting. Try and reset the anchor. Solitary whiting. Well, I definitely know that's grabbed. <laughs> that's right. We've had to move uh, how many times? Four times? Four times, yeah. Yeah. Kept on drifting, anchor wasn't grabbing. And yeah, finally got it got it to grab. But yeah, the swell sort of more than what we were expecting, so is the wind. Good old weatherman. Hey, got it got it almost right again. Yeah, almost. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Beautiful morning here. I'm just at the ramp where the uh, Birkenhead Tavern is, Port Adelaide. Um, got the Revo, Revo down there, be the uh, maiden voyage for it uh, today. Um, yeah, Birkenhead Tavern there. So I launch, um, just to try, try the, uh, the Revo out. I didn't really want to tackle any swell and uh, the wind's coming up. Uh, sort of late morning early afternoon um, I'd be a little bit more sheltered here um, just see about the setup what I need to change what I need to improve uh, switching some mounts over etc but uh, yeah thanks for joining for me for another video uh, great conditions so far uh, hopefully it lasts but uh, yeah I'll see you out in the water soon so good morning guys we are away long time feels like a long time since I've been on a kayak but yeah, um, as some of you know, I was in India, just got back during the week, still suffering from, from some jet lag, so 
waking up at all hours of the morning and uh, thought yeah yeah it's a uh, um, good opportunity to go out and back to work tomorrow and uh, yeah some light winds and thought I'd see absolutely getting eaten again by mozzies um, not even summertime so I brought some air guard which was lucky um, but yeah gonna see see how we go here um, got the Revo like I said so I've had so many different Ho Hobie kayaks you know from the Pro Angler and the Outbacks and yeah this is uh, yeah one of my favorites still the Revo um, people think that they're they're unstable they are stable they've got really good secondary stability really good in the um, in the ocean any any little bit of swell and some waves that type of thing and they're fast I can travel so far in this and um, they're sold as a recreational kayak not as a fishing kayak but you know you put some mounts on like I do I've got a few other things that I need to do I've, I've, I've ordered some some other parts that are coming but uh, yeah no just a great sort of recreational kayak that I can use for fishing as well um, still got the boat obviously um, which uh, in, in some nicer days I'll take some family and friends out but yeah great to be out on the water again it feels like it's been ages and um, yeah hopefully if this turns into a video I'll be able to draw the winner of the uh, prize so obviously I know there's lots of salmon trout around here I've been down the area over the other side predominantly this area where I'm heading I've only been once and only a little bit so I'm going to explore right down there have a look I'll do a bit of trolling and um, see what I can come up with um, got a double clutch and a soft plastic um, only got one rod sort of holder here at the moment which will do I'll hold the other one but um, yeah fish is just a bonus I'm, I'm just really really happy to get out and um, see see how this Revo goes see what I need to change on it but um, yeah stay tuned I'll see what I come up with and I'll, I'll start exploring again thanks for joining me like I'm onto something just trolling a soft plastic I've come right down to the other end not a touch until now probably a, yeah salmon trout I would say in uh, only 2.3 meters of water let's have a look at what you are so it's been yeah fantastic morning still no wind nice and peaceful no one around Yeah, it was a salmon trout. Just foul hooked. But at least there's something here. So I've just come to uh, one of the big bridges and I'm sounding up a heap under me. Heap of fish about uh, between five and nine meters down. I'm gonna uh, drop a bait down. Probably try a cockle at first, smallish hook. I don't know what they are. Seagulls aren't too happy that I'm around, but bad luck see how we go with this single hook and I've got I've got the vexed uh, one here as well with a circle hook I'll see how we'll go hopefully I get onto something because it's been uh, pretty quiet otherwise with the trolling uh, only that one fish but yeah marking up some uh, really good really good school under me uh, the only thing I caught here last time was a trumpeter um, so I'll see what these are, hopefully there's something else, Get a bit of a cockle one, see how long this lasts, hopefully on them with fish straight away. Ready on me forward a bit, back over the school.
to go to today? South or north? South or north? Bigger than, bigger than what I thought. Whoa, that's so that's a big. Good one. Whoa. <coughs> now it's great. Oh, and a, another one's going on that road. Yeah, just put it in there. Put it in there. Grab that one. And another one. Just grab that one too. Whoa. So it's the triple Lindy. Triple Lindy again. Oh wait, there's two. I can see two. Yep. All right. Where's yours? Good job, Kiki. Thanks. Do you want to hold it for a camera? Yeah. Pretty good, wasn't it? Mm. That's a good one. So that's a little bit heavy. Good one. Okay, take that. You can put it inside the container. Mom, can you open this and open, please? Remember? 
remember, you can go like this. Yep, good fish. Good fish. Yeah, very good. Oh, I see it. What is this? Yep, keep going. Remember, it's a long way down. Whoa. Oh. Oh, what is that? That's like a big like, zebra fish, the biggest one I've seen. Ah, let, let it out, you let too much. I think that's a zebra fish, holy mackerel. That's huge. <laughs> Good job, Chloe. Wow. Let more out, honey. Let more oh, out. Sorry. Huge. Wow, see that? Cooked itself. Right. Put that back down. Whoa. Is that a keeper? Are you going to hold your catch? No. <laughs> no, thank you. Wow. Where's your gloves? Remember, don't bring it all the way up, just so you can see it. Oh, it looks like oh, where it's... Whiting! Whiting! Yay! No, 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 you wound it up again too much. Got up. I've got some by now. Yep. Whoa. This is what we're after, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Do you remember what it's got to be? You can put it back out again. 32? Yeah. 32. What is that? Got a bit of go to it. Nice. Hopefully, it's another whiting. Oh, yeah, what is this? This is on the, um, the artificial bait as well. Whiting again. Yeah! Oh, good one, too. Oh. See the artificial bait? Here's Chloe about to draw the winner of the competition. Sorry it took so long, guys. Um, there's everybody's names. We had a heap um, enter the draw. So, Chloe, yeah, if you can put them all in the vase, it would be great. Right, maybe uh, give it a bit of a bit of a shake, like up and down. That's it. Shake it around, shake it around, and uh, give it a give it a bit of a bit of a stir, maybe with your hands. Stir it around, stir it around, mix it up. All right, and without looking, grab one and make sure it's one. And who have you got there? Um. Want to turn it around? From Semaphore. Oh, so that's Sean from Semaphore Park. Uh, let me get that in there. Yep, Sean, Semaphore Park. That's it. All right, congratulations, Sean. I'll get into in contact with you and we'll get that stuff to you. Thanks very much, Chloe, for your help. Welcome. All right, see you next time. Bye.